Hello again, friends. During these 40 days of Lent leading up to Easter, we're invited to more intentionally consider how we're following the way of Jesus and allowing his grace and character to be more and more reflected in all we do and say. What I love about God is that he invites us to leave all manner of ugliness behind, which is a good thing to do in itself. I mean, who wants the ugly, dirty bits? But then on top of that, God describes so many promises of blessing that will result. For example, remove the heavy yoke of oppression, stop pointing your finger and spreading vicious rumors, feed the hungry, help those in trouble. Then your light will shine out from the darkness and the darkness around you will be as bright as noon. The Lord will guide you continually, giving you water when you are dry and restoring your strength. You will be like a well-watered garden, like an ever-flowing spring. Some of you will rebuild the deserted ruins of your cities, and then you will be known as a rebuilder of walls and a restorer of homes. So if I count correctly, there are three things to stop, two things to do, and several amazing things that will take place in our lives. Who of us doesn't want to work for justice and see the yoke of oppression removed from people? When we see folks hungry and in trouble, there's nothing more gratifying than to be able to help out. And isn't it about time we stop accusing and condemning and speaking negatively about others? Especially since there's plenty in our own lives that people could accuse and speak about, isn't there? On the basis of just those moves in God's direction, he generously promises us light in dark times. And then there's even more because the amount of blessing and refreshing that God gives us is always enough for where we're at and plenty more with which to bless others. Well, Lord, we're a self-centered people who too often live for our own convenience and comfort. We tell you and tell others that we want to follow you, and yet in so many everyday ways, we get sidetracked from your simple, straightforward agenda. We get wound up in knots about things that we think need to happen today. Forgive us, Lord, for the arrogance of trusting our own short-sighted understanding of our lives today. Help us to turn away from these ways of thinking to what you say so simply and clearly and call us to focus on today. Give us grace today to do something for those who are hungry and in trouble. Help us to act today, something, anything, small or large, as you put it in our heart. Kind words or donations or help with errands or a note or a card. The ways are endless that we can use to help others and feed not only their stomachs, but their souls. We open our hearts to receive your light shining in our darkness, to recognizing and following your guidance that is coming to us continually. Help us to recognize the refreshing you are pouring into our lives today and be strengthened by it. Move our gaze from what we think we need to be refreshed to simply opening our lives to however you are refreshing us. Lord, work in us today by your Spirit. We so long to be those who rebuild in lives that are deserted ruins. Help us to build walls of protection and to be those who are useful in the ministry of reconciliation you say we've all been given through Jesus. Let it begin today. Let it begin with us, we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, friends, these days of Lent are great times to consider what all of that looks like in our lives. Let's stop where we need to stop, start where we need to start, and open our lives to the many blessings that God is pouring out on us today. Have a great day.